Hey, YouTube. Welcome to episode number 16 of Tag Tuesday. I'm your host, Tina. Are you all ready for tag number 16? Here we go. Watercolor pencils. I use some from each one. I saw this hemp cord um, in Joann's, and I really, really liked it. So I got it. I love these bright spring colors, and I thought this would be perfect for this project. And then once again, I used this Bloom Girl. As you could tell, this is my favorite one out of all the Bloom Girls. I really love her, and I still have not found out her name. So if anybody knows her name, if you be so kind... Please leave it down in the comments section so I can label both of them. Both of them like I have all my other dials. But this is what I used this week. And then, of course, I used this um, Prima watercolor um, pen. All right. Let me show you all <laughs> what I created for this episode. Something different. It's still a tag, but it's a different tag. And I'll start off with this. Here she goes. This is the tag that I made for this episode. I think she turned out really, really, really nice. Oh my goodness. So let me show you her sister. They they triplets. Mm-hmm. I think she turned out beautiful. And I think she turned out beautiful. These are my tags. So I couldn't stop when I did one. I couldn't stop. I created a second one. I couldn't stop. I created a third one. And then I had to just tell myself, just stop. So, so nice. All right. So this was the first one that I used and I messed up right here with this little spot because what I did was I embossed, stamped and embossed it on uh, watercolor paper, the Tim Holtz watercolor paper. I like that best. All right. So I st stamped it, embossed it, heat embossed it, and then I colored it in with the watercolors after i colored it in with the watercolors i cut it out okay i fussy cut it out and then i adhered that with my beacons three and one to cereal box so when i adhered it to the cereal box what i did was i took one of my stamp blocks and i just put it on top of the stamp like this to hold it down and make sure that it adhered properly all the way to the edges. So I just put something there to apply pressure. And when I lifted this up, I had this little spot. So I had to clean the block before I did the other ones. So that's what that's that's what that is about. Um, I'm really loving this relationship that I'm having with these Prima watercolor pencils. Um, you know, we spend money on this stuff. Let's start trying to use this stuff. And the first times that I used them, I did not like the end result. But the more and more that I'm using them, now I'm starting to like. What I found is that I must take the water brush to the pencil and then color. Don't color with the pencil and then take the water. I like it the opposite way. So that's what I did. And as you can see, they all three different colors. To me, you never know what you're going to get. You try to do the exact same thing. But with this watercolor, I never get the exact same effect, which I kind of like. Okay. So she's lime green. I think she came out really, really nice. I was very nervous about doing the body. But like I said, this is the first one. You can see, you know, she's a little lighter. And then I did the second one. She came out great. And I love the little dress and the flowers. Her hair came out a little darker than the first girl. So I used the circle technique on her. And I, I just straight lined her. So it's a difference. It takes a lot of time to really get comfortable with the brush and to find your right, the right stroke. And so with this one, I think this was the last one. And to me, she was the best. I really, really, really like her. So these are my tags for this episode. What you all think? I didn't put anything on the back. I will do that once I decide to gift them. I don't know if I want to do a to and fro to go on a package or if I want to do a sentiment, but I'll figure it out. But these are my tags and I know it's more than one. I couldn't stop myself, but this is tag 
number 16. Tell me what you all think. Don't they look so lovely and springish and summery? I love them. I love them. If you know her name, please leave it in the description box. I would greatly appreciate it. I want to label her. All right. Tell me what you think about my tag this uh, week. Tell somebody about Tag Tuesdays going down every Tuesday here on Tell Him Thank You. Until next time, be blessed. Keep creating.